Hello, I am Anna from Just a Mum's Kitchen and today I am very clearly no longer in Just a Mum's Kitchen. I am here working with Countdown to share with you a very special recipe for Christmas. So this year I am hosting Christmas Day and I am the queen of having all these fabulous ideas and then zero time. So this recipe fits into that perfectly. I'm going to share with you my cherry chocolate cake. It's actually composed of three different parts, two of which you can make ahead of time. We've got the chocolate cakes, they can be made months in advance. We have got the delicious cherry filling and then of course no cake would be complete without delicious decadent whipped cream. Okay, so to make the cherry filling is incredibly easy. We're going to use this whole jar of the Morello cherries. I'm going to try really hard not to spill it all over myself, which I have done lots in the past. And we're going to keep the cherry juice because that's really important for the recipe as well. So the first thing we're going to do is create a little syrup. About a third of the cup of the cherry juice. And then we're going to pop in one and a half tablespoons of corn flour. This is going to thicken the cherry filling for you later on. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is start preparing the syrup. So grab a saucepan and again we're going to add about a third of a cup of the cherry juice. Then we're going to add a third of a cup of caster sugar, a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. And then we're going to heat this on the stove top. So now over a low heat we're going to dissolve the sugar into the cherry juice to form the first part of the syrup. Grab our corn flour and we add this into the juice. And now the next step is we're going to add in the cherries. Now I like to do this half and half. So first of all I'm going to add half the cherries. And we're actually going to mash these ones. The reason for that is at the end of the recipe you'll have some whole and some half and it makes a really beautiful filling. And then we add the rest of the cherries in. Now that we've got the cherries in here, we're going to bring the sauce to the boil until it thickens beautifully and then we're going to set it aside to cool. Okay, so you can see now that it has boiled, it has changed to this beautiful rich ruby colour. So we're now going to remove it from the heat and set it aside to cool until we're ready to use it. The cake that I have made today is called my Easy Rich Chocolate Cake. It is delicious, decadent and super simple to make. We're going to start by combining the dry ingredients. So first of all, we're going to pop our flour into here. Here is two cups of flour, and then we're going to add our two teaspoons of baking soda. Then we're going to add the cocoa, so we have half a cup of cocoa and some salt. Pour in the sugar, so we've got one and a half cups of sugar in there. I'm going to give that a nice mix around until it is really well combined. Okay, so we've combined that all together really well. We're just going to make a little bit of a well in the centre of that and now we'll go on to prepare the wet ingredients. Add two eggs to this bowl and we're going to lightly whisk those together. And then we're simply going to add the rest of the ingredients. So we have got in here one cup of milk, half a cup of oil, a tablespoon of malt vinegar, teaspoon of vanilla. It does sound like some odd ingredients but trust me it does work beautifully. And the final ingredient here, I have got 250 ml of water and a teaspoon of coffee. Now I don't drink coffee, can't stand it, but in this cake what it does is it adds a beautiful richness to the chocolate so it makes it even more rich and delicious. So that is why we add coffee to the cake. Okay, so we have combined all of our wet ingredients and now it's simply a matter of pouring it into the dry ingredients. And then we are simply going to whisk that all together. There is nothing sexy about what I'm about to do for about two minutes. So we've now gently um, but thoroughly combined that together. We are going to pop it in two 20 centimetre baking trays into the oven for about 35-40 minutes until they spring back to the touch. So now it is time for the best part of all, putting all of this together. So putting together the cakes, there is a little bit of method in how I do this, but what I wanted to remind you of, of course, is if you don't have time to make the cakes, you can grab some chocolate sponge from Countdown. It's in their bakery aisle. They are delicious and light and ready to go. Okay, so now we're going to pop on this beautiful whipped cream. So the whipped cream is simply 300 ml of cream, a little bit of icing sugar and some vanilla. Don't put it too close to the edge because obviously when we put the other layers on it's going to mush out the sides a little bit. Grab our cherries. So these have set beautifully, lovely and thickened after being in the uh, fridge chilling for a while. So as I say, these can last five days in a jar in the fridge. It's no problem at all. So we're just going to pop those on leaving a little bit of a um, edge around it so that they don't squeeze out. Okay, so that is the filling, that is as simple as that. Now we're going to grab our other half of our cake and we're going to pop that on the top. 
So we've popped the top layer on. Now, if you're a fancy schmancy caker, you would maybe take the top off of that. We're not, we're home bakers. So all we need to do is just keep it this shape and we're going to pop on some more whipped cream and then we're going to top it with our cherries. Okay, so we are nearly done. Now, cherry chocolate cakes don't traditionally have mint on them, but I don't do anything traditional necessarily, so I'm gonna add some mint because it is, just looks stunning against the lovely, beautiful ruby color of those cherries. So as you can see, it is super quick and easy to make, but it looks spectacular, so you can get all of the Christmas Day glory with your little addition to Christmas dessert. So I hope you love this recipe as much as we do. You'll be able to find this recipe on the Countdown website along with a whole bunch of other delicious recipes. So check this one out and I hope you have a wonderful, relaxed and happy festive season.